Recently, I've been kind of taking meat out of my diet. Um, well, actually, I guess it's been a couple months now that I have. So, no matter if you eat meat or not, you like a good burger, period, point blank. Let's see, what are people saying today? Oh, how do I do, I don't know how to do the pin thing where they can, for Keisha's Kitchen. Keisha's Kitchen. Okay, questions from viewers. Okay, y'all, bear with me because I am not sure how this works. Um, what am I cooking? Did someone ask that? Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do these Beyond Burgers, which are my fave, right here. And they don't have the little cover on them because I buy them from Costco in bulk. And I threw that part out. And they're so yum. We're going to do them. Look, excuse my sweatpants, but it's, this is just what it is. We're all at home, and this is what we're doing. So, we're going to have to get, I think I have some more in my pantry. My all-purpose is almost gone. But I make the best vegan burgers simply with my meat spice by Keisha's Kitchen and my all-purpose spice. These two are staples. Then, I picked up my, um, my CSA farm, my farm share, so I have some farm fresh organic mixed greens in this little bag right here that I'm going to put on it. We're going to put a little bit of sauteed onion on there. I have some red bell peppers already chopped up. Some tomatoes. Oh, this cheese. Amazing. So delicious. Cheddar. And we're going to put a little avocado on there as well. I have to see if this avocado, hopefully this avocado is still good. If not, I have some fresh ones. So, Juwan, you want to have a burger with me? This is my brother, my youngest brother. You wanna say hi to the camera, Johnny? Mm, I'm looking at it. <laughs> What's going on? Jelani. What's going on? That's Jelani. For those of you, his Instagram is underscore Kofa. Underscore Kofa. He was gracious enough to um, let me get on one of his tracks, Cypher. He's a rapper among many other things, right? You know, I got a feature. Rap, you know. I got a verse right quick. Okay, so let's just start. This is super easy. This is not going to be a long, um, a long show today because the burgers are amazingly really easy. So, what'd you say? Hold on. Okay, so let's get a pan. Right quick. Oh, my, perf my amazing catalog pans. Here we go. This is what we're doing. We're gonna heat our pan up. Nice kind of medium high. Bam, I've already sliced the bell pepper. We're gonna get, I think I'm gonna do grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is one of my favorites to use also. So we'll do grapeseed oil. Then I'm gonna turn broil on because I like my bun toasted. So let's start with our onion. We're gonna chop this up real quick. Boop. Boop. What do you say, Juani? Nothing, I think we might need the bang. Cause it is blurry. It's blurry? I don't know why yeah. it's blurry. It's not blurry when I'm looking at it. Sorry. Pause real quick. Let's see. Is this better? I don't know. Is this better? Hold on. Good lord. Y'all, what have you been doing to keep busy? Not leaving the house. So, we've been in the house for like three weeks at this point. Ventured out today. So that we can get some it groceries. It's, it's still blurry? Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's still blurry. Ventured out to get some groceries. That was a whole experience. Like, I don't even hardly drink, but sometimes you just need a glass of champagne when you can't go anywhere. I swear. 
Or some red wine. Which one should we have, Jawani? Red wine. No, no, no. I think I want oh. champagne. Oh. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should have asked him. Okay, so we have all of our veggies chopped right here. I'm going to wash off our tomatoes so that's all prepped. And there's one in the fridge. That's hot. Mm. So, yeah. Made a Costco run today. We're going to just slice up a couple tomatoes to garnish our burgers. It's all about the stuff. Like, I'm an absolute and complete condiment. So I believe in putting all the stuff on a burger. And if you're not vegan, the good thing is that this really tastes really good. Um, the, the seasoning tastes really good, whether it's beef, whether it's turkey, um, whatever it is. To do. So these are our burgers right here. And what I like to do, you can do this because you don't rinse. Like when I have like chicken or something like that, you kind of want to rinse it off. But with these, it's plant-based. So what I'll do is I'll move this over here. And I season the first side because you season both sides in the packet. So I'll take my all-purpose. And this is just my like easy, no cleanup way. All-purpose. Boom. Meat spice. You can actually even put the poultry on here with it also, and it's still good. So we'll just do the meat. Nice, generous pour. There we go. So we have it nice and seasoned. And then our pan is nice and warm and we're gonna put some grapeseed oil in it, really easy. And then I'll even switch the camera over so you can see it. You know what? Let's see. Nicely coated on the bottom, just like that, not too, too much. So then I take my burger oh my patty. God, this is a terrible idea. What are you doing? No, that's, that is a bad idea. It's a bad idea. <laughs> so we'll put it over in the pan. It's nice and warm. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to... So we take that, and now we're going to take the other one and put it in the pan. And it depends. Like, some people like their burgers a little thicker. I personally like mine a little flatter. So I'm going to take a spatula, like this, bam, and just flatten it down a little bit. These burgers don't take long at all to cook because, again, it's not real meat. So I flatten it down a little bit like that. And then we're just going to season the other side. Switch the camera so that you can see it on this side. This way, you'll be Where's able to see. Too? I'll try right from the camera. I don't know why. It's, is that clearer? I'm not sure. Okay, so now you can see. What's going on in this pan right quick? Kind of yummy, it'll get kind of nice and brown. And I'm also gonna put in my pan right alongside some of my onions and peppers. So you can put it all in the pan together just like this. And then while we're doing that, here. So do y'all have any questions yet so far, or are y'all good? Mm, not really. Oh, what are these? Five questions. How do they work? What kind of vegan burger? Um, it's not you, it's the internet. Uh, nice kitchen. Thanks, guys. Okay, so I'm using Beyond Meat. So I think I tagged it, if you look. Um, I posted it on my Keisha's Kitchen page. Make sure that if you don't already follow Keisha's Kitchen, at Keisha's Kitchen, that you follow because that's where you'll get recipes and other things that I'm doing. All right, so here we go. We're going to flip our burger over. See, it has a nice color, a little bit of crispiness. 
there. I'm going to let those get down in there and cook nice and yummy. So now that you guys have kind of seen what's going on in the pan a little bit, I'm also going to put a little of the all-purpose seasoning on here. Mix that up a little. So we'll come back, now that you've seen that part, we're gonna come back around to the front. Oh, we have some more questions. Let's see. Would you consider opening a restaurant or a food truck? Yes, I actually would. Can you look at, can you look at the questions, Jelani? Or only can I see them? Yeah, I can't see them, but I Okay, <laughs> I know. And then another question is, how's the little one? Oh, she's awesome. Um, how many calories are the vegan burger? You know what? I have to look on the, um, the package, but if you Google like Beyond Meat, um, you should be able to get all of the nutrition information off of there. But literally I threw away, um, the little insert thingy. Okay. So burger, how does it smell in here, Jelani? Great. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to toast. I have these whole wheat buns. This one got a little smushed in the bread cabinet, but just some whole wheat hamburger buns. Then you just put them under the broiler. I'm going to wait a second because you want to know why. I want to let my onions and stuff cook a little more. So the burgers don't take very long at all. But what I am gonna do is I put the buns under the broiler and then I put the vegan cheese on the buns to melt. Because what I have found is that vegan cheese, it takes a little bit longer to melt than like regular American or regular cheddar. So, here we go. I'm gonna take the burgers off just so they don't get too much and then we can cook the onions. Hey, Juwan, you wanna help me? What's going on? Can you um, wash off some of this spring mix for me, please? Yeah, Probably wash my hands first. Yeah, time. definitely wash your hands first. Okay. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Back to this burner. So you all can see what I'm doing. So we're going to just saute these. And it's really good because when you saute it in the same pan, then they just get all of the like yummy pan juices in there. I'm going to add one little bit of olive oil. I mean, great. I think I'd rather here. substitute flavor with pan juices. No, it's good. Like, all of the seasonings and stuff kind of adhere to the pan under there, and it yeah. makes it taste young. Yeah, flavors. Yeah. Oh, you don't like the word pan juice? No. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it fall in the same quarter category yeah, as Yeah, come on now. Mice? Don't do this. <laughs> you, you just want to wash it off. You can put it on the paper towel. Oh, hi, Louisiana. Are y'all staying safe down there, staying in the house? We gotta I don't know. Stay. Louisiana been cutting up. Because I've seen stay. a video, and they was in the restaurant like it was dang. No. Listen, uh, we got to stay Bar. out of these streets. Because I don't know about you, but I got to come June. We can't still be in this is not over. My birthday's in a week. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're going to put the burgers on here. What did you say? Munchie is awesome. She's asleep right now, which any moms who are on the thing know that that's a recipe for disaster for your child to be asleep this late in the day because she is going to be up all night. All right. Thank you. We have our lettuce that we can just kind of dry off. There's a paper towel under it. Okay. All right. So our burgers are, are ready. We have our grilled onions, and something that also works mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'm just going to put the burgers back in the pan, and I'm going to put the cheese on. Oh, no, actually, I'll put it on the bread. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see where we are. Yeah, these are, this is hot down here. All right, so we're going to pile the cheese up, all the dairy free cheese. On. Here we got Florida in the house. Come on Hi, now, Florida. Bro. I am 1978. Hit us with the M word. What happened? Nothing. Oh. Block them. <laughs> I can't block you. So uh -oh. if you say the M word, then they say it. Because you said it. What did I say? The M word. What's the M word? 
You said N? Emma. M? Munchie? M Moist. Moist. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, what made me laugh? Okay. So we're going to put these back under here to get nice and this one's toasted already. Yeah, a whole bunch of happy birthdays. Thank you for my happy birthdays. All right, I'll get you a yeah, that's plate. a good question. We have so here's my bottom bottom of burger. I'm going to build one of these right quick. Let's let this get nice and crispy. crispy. All right. Here's a burger. We're gonna. Here, Juwan, what do you want in your burger? Uh, all that. Ketchup, mustard, and mayo. Oh, is that what you want, Mom? Hold on, I gotta make some more. So, we have our grilled onions on our burger. We could take our fresh organic spring mix. Trying to make sure my buns don't uh burn. All right, mm, 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 spring mm, mix, bam. Mm, 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 mm. We have our other bun. So, Mom, are you coming upstairs or not? You right. Pop <laughs> She's just popping out. So, we'll put our tomatoes on our burger. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I need this top, my, my cheese to melt better. Trying to get my and cheese. The Keisha's kitchen whole season is bomb on burgers. Yes, yeah. I normally, I put it all on. Literally, I will put my meat, my, my, my all-purpose, and my poultry seasoning on the burger at the same time. And it just, it makes my day. Like in chili, all three are good. Tacos, you name it. Let's see where I'm going. <laughs> Alright, this is yours, Shawani. I'm getting your top bun. Do you want, um, so we'll put your top bun on here. This has all... What'd you say? Yeah, I have my avocado. It's right here. I know I want avocado. I don't need it. Do you want avocado? Yeah. All right, let's see if this avocado is good. Oh, I so, think this one may not be. I did see someone say, can you taste the difference if you don't like, <clears throat> like, if you're not a vegan, if you eat meat uh, and stuff like that. I grew up on steak. We, and, we and, all did. And okay, yeah, but I think everybody right. else is kind of letting it go. Okay. I still eat chicken and steak and lamb and all types of stuff. I can't even lie. This is really good. <laughs> Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to put some avocado on this sucker. Bam. Is that enough or you want more? Yeah, my drizzle a little bit more. All right. Dang. More, more what? Just on the avocado. Okay, good. go ahead. Put whatever you want yeah. on it. That's your burger. How about it? All right. So okay. now, I'm going to put some, I'm going to put the onions, I think, on here to help my cheese melt. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, that's where I want that to go. So I decided to employ a different technique. Way to cut your bacon. I put my onions and peppers right here. Mm, mm, mm. My burger. Put some lettuce on here. So this is all you have to do. But what I can say is for the people who are like, just try it because it's actually really, really good. Because I am a diehard meat eater too. Well, not anymore, but I used to be. So I was that person who was like, I don't want no fake meat, or I, you know, I'd rather have the real thing. But what I can tell you is this is amazing and it makes me happy. Yeah, it looks amazing. It's so good. Oh yeah. Hey. Yes. So put all the stuff and like I said, I am an absolute condiment. Putting everything on my burger, including this avocado, right quick. So just give it a chance and try it. But if you already have some steak, some um, ground beef or um, ground turkey at home, the meat, the poultry, and the all-purpose taste just as good on on those type of burgers as it does on a veggie burger so come here juan you have to taste your burger oh man I have you already started peace. you no. want to eat it in peace yeah this drink right here okay go ahead go ahead i want some ketchup and mustard for mine where's my where's the ketchup did you take it out Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why it's so blurry today. I think something must be going on because everyone's at home and everyone's on the internet and so they're messing with people's internet. All right, I want some mustard. Mm -hmm. Hi, Toronto. Mm -hmm. What is that restaurant called? Mm -hmm. We went to the best restaurant in, in Toronto. Mm -hmm. It was called, was it Palma? The, it was like the Asian fusion, I don't know, but it was amazing. They had these little chicken wings. That's when I was eating chicken. Oh, so good. 
Okay. You can add french fryers. I had my air fryer out last week. You can put your french fries in the air fryer. Um, I'm trying to think. You can really do anything with this. You could do corn if it's, you know, more grilling out, barbecue style. But this is it. I'm going to cut it in half so y'all can kind of see what's going on in here. Yo, it's strong. It's good. It's good. So this is the finished product. And it's awesome. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed. We'll do another something next week. But you all enjoy. I'm sorry it's blurry. Maybe next time it'll be better. All right. See you all soon. Keisha's Kitchen.com.